What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have the August 2024 Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as today we have a very exciting Orange County update in store. We got some various aircraft changes, quite a bit to report on, and overall some really good news down the pipeline here for Orange County. So hope all of you are excited for this. Let's go ahead and get started. Right here we have a Southwest 737-700. This aircraft is currently heading out to Chicago Midway after coming in from Nashville, Tennessee. And then we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is currently going to be taking it on over to Las Vegas after coming in from Denver, Colorado. Our next aircraft is another 737-700 for Southwest. This aircraft is currently coming in from Houston Hobby and now it's going to be making its flight out to Austin Bertram International. And lastly for Southwest, we have the 737 MAX 8, which is currently coming in from Puerto Vallarta after arriving in from San Jose del Cabo. So no major changes for Southwest. They'll be steady here, which is really exciting. I think they do have some route resumptions coming up. So we'll talk about those in future updates, but overall looking pretty good here for the crew at SWA. Our next aircraft is going to be this beautiful Allegiant Air Airbus A319 in the Las Vegas Raider Special Livery. This is a really cool model. Allegiant has had some changes here, so let's go ahead and talk about those. You get the bad news out of the way, unfortunately. They will be ending their services to Missoula, Montana, and Austin, Texas. So pretty unfortunate, especially for Missoula with no additional competition. And flights to Spokane, Washington, and uh, or just Spokane, Washington, will terminate after August here, but we do have consistently going Boise, Des Moines, Idaho Falls, and Provo, so those will be going consistently. But anyway, this aircraft's currently coming in from Spokane. Hopefully, that'll be back next summer, and now it's going to be making its flight today over to Des Moines. We'll also be seeing Eugene in Medford returning in October, so looking forward to those. So some nice seasonal updates there for Allegiant. A couple of unfortunate cuts, but kind of the reality of the situation. Our next aircraft is going to be the Spirit Airbus E320 Neo coming in from Oakland. This aircraft is now heading out to Las Vegas, so no major changes for them. No major changes for Frontier, despite that they continue to amp up those frequencies on the cities they currently have. So he's going to be coming in from San Francisco, California today. So a very new route that started last month. Now it's going to be heading out to Phoenix. So very cool to see the progression for those aircraft. Okay, next up we have an Alaska 737-700. This aircraft is the uh, really cool Jim Jets mold, the hybrid one. This aircraft is currently making a flight today, coming in from Seattle, and now it's going to be heading out to Portland. No major changes besides that they are flying quite a bit of the 737 MAX 8, which has been announced. So starting in December updates for Orange County, you'll start to see that roll in. I have to pre-record, unfortunately, due to logistical complications. So wish I get it in a little bit sooner, but that's its first availability based upon the schedule. And next we have this Alaska E-175. This is a standard livery. This aircraft is going to be coming in from Santa Rosa and now it's heading out to Seattle Everett. Definitely a really cool pair of routes right there. There's no doubt about that. And here's the honoring those who serve ERJ-175. This particular frame is going to be making a flight today heading over to, let's see. So we have San Francisco. So that's what it'll be doing for Horizon after coming in earlier from Let's see, am I missing any major routes? Uh, San Francisco, yes. So that is uh, quite a nice duo. Uh, some updates, the service to Tucson will resume in December, along with a brand new service for Alaska over to the great city of, oh man, I can't even think of what city it was that they're gonna start. There's one really cool one that they're starting, I can't think of it. But anyway, they are starting a new service, so really excited for that, it is in December. Oh man, why can't I not remember what city it was? It, for the life of me, I cannot remember it. But anyway, it's very exciting, whatever it is, and they will be starting that in December. So looking forward to reporting in on that when we get the opportunity. December will be yet another big update for Orange County with all the progression we've already seen. Heading on over into United, we do have some consistent movements here, beginning with the 737-800. United's been uh, very consistent here with their offerings. So this aircraft's coming in from Houston, and now it's gonna be making a flight today over to Chicago O'Hare. And then we have an Airbus A320. This aircraft's currently coming in from San Francisco, and now it's going to be heading out to Denver. We have a 737 MAX 8. This aircraft's currently coming in from Newark, and now it's going to be making a flight today out to Chicago O'Hare. And lastly, we have this Airbus E319. I think I mentioned every destination, just scanning over my head to make sure, but I believe I have. So this aircraft's coming in on additional flight from San Francisco, of course, and now it's going to be making the flight today out to Chicago here. So great to see all the frequency for United. They'll be very consistent. Uh, 737 Maxes, A320s, A319s, 737 700s, 800s. So here in these updates, you'll be seeing all of those and more. American, very similar story, no major aircraft changes for them. So this Airbus A319 is currently making a service in from Austin, which continues to go strong. So Allegiant just could not compete with American Southwest on that service. So that's an Austin turnaround. And we have this American 737-800. This aircraft's currently coming in from Dallas-Fort Worth, which has been yet another very consistent offering here for AA. So 
Great to see that. They are flying a handful of Airbus A321 Neos on the service as well, but it's mainly the 737-800. Speaking of which, I need a 737 Max in here for American. I'm gonna have to get one off the shelf here real quick because I forgot to put it in here for the O'Hare flight. Sometimes when you're setting up, you just forget that one aircraft. In this particular case, it was that one. So it happens to the best of us. Uh, next, we have an American E321 with Sharklets. This aircraft is currently gonna be operating as a 321T coming in today from New York John Kennedy, which continues to be a very successful, relatively new service. I mean, obviously three years old, it's not like brand new, obviously, but it, within the last handful of years. So that's been exciting to see it progress. So very excited to see what's come here in the near future. So Americans doing good. We'll talk about them more in a little bit. Next up, we have some Delta aircraft beginning with the A22300 coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. This aircraft's now gonna be going to Salt Lake City. It's Minneapolis double daily and Salt Lake City, I think it's five times a day. So no doubt very productive on those services. Here's a Delta 7200 coming in from Atlanta. It's a double daily with a couple of additional flights on, I think it was, was it Friday, Sunday, Monday? It's uh, peak days, whatever it is. So cool to see that for sure. No doubt about that one. A Delta A220-100. This is a new model for Orange County with the better aerials and all that. Coming in today after a flight from Seattle, he'll be heading back out there. So great to see Seattle continuing to thrive. I think it's like four daily 220-100s. So no complaints on that one. Here's a Breeze Airways Airbus E220-300 coming in today. Let's see. So we do have some Breeze updates that need to be evaluated. First and foremost, the flights that we'll have here year round will be Ogden, Utah, Provo, Utah, and Grand Junction, Colorado, I believe terminates in December. So that will still uh, have quite a few frequencies, but that one will be coming back. And the services to Columbus, Orlando, and Tampa hopefully will come back next summer, but they're currently not listed for Breeze uh, as actual flights at this point in time. Anyway, this aircraft is currently coming in today from Port Provo, and now it's gonna be heading up the Grand Junction. I also hope to find the main landing gear at some point. Hopefully it's somewhere in my room, but I don't know. And lastly, here for the gates, we have an Air Canada Boeing 737 MAX 8. Coming in today after a flight from Vancouver, gonna be heading back out there, which is a daily 737 MAX. All right, let's go ahead and bounce back to American A321 Neo. Heading out to Charlotte Doubles International. This flight has been really cool since I was at Charlotte in security the other day and saw somebody's boarding pass with SNA, so. It's nice to see some point-to-point uh, -point traffic on that one. That was pretty cool. Here's a UPS Boeing 7200 freighter heading out to Louisville, Kentucky today. So always a great day to see UPS here at the airport. Here's a WestJet 737-700 coming in from Calgary. Now it's heading out to Vancouver, both of which are three weekly. So WestJet continues their consistent pace here at Orange County. We have another Delta 757-200 coming in today from Detroit. So that continues to be five times a week. It'll be interesting to see if they bounce off that anytime soon, but they're definitely consistent with the five times a week offering. There's no doubt about that concept. Scooting on back, we have a Delta E220-100. So this was the other flight. So this aircraft is coming in today from Salt Lake City and now it's heading back out there. So cool to get a little bit more Salt Lake in today. We have a handful of private jets, including a Learjet 75 on your left, coming in today from, excuse me, goodness, Provo, and now it's heading out to Missoula. And the aircraft on your right is coming in from San Diego, and now it's gonna be bouncing all the way over to Portland, Maine, which is a very long flight, so that will barely make it, but it has just enough range. Last but certainly not least for today's airport update, we have this JSX ERJ-145, and this aircraft today is coming in from Reno, and now it's gonna be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. So I really hope all of you enjoyed the Orange County update. Again, uh, December is really when we're gonna start to see some substantial changes, but as of for what's going on here, we do have the Legion and Breeze changes. So those were certainly nice, but Southwest has several daily flights. So if you wanna go dig into exactly what it is, you can, but it's like probably 50 or 60 daily flights uh, out in, in, so probably like 30 aircraft a day. It's really impressive. So that's awesome to see. And then everybody else going strong. Frontiers frequencies have really amped up over the last year. So great to see the, their dedication here at SNA. And we've also seen quite a bit from American and all, overall it's definitely uh, pretty present. So that's been awesome to see and it's definitely an exciting thought to think about what's coming up next. So again, I really hope all of you enjoyed this update. Excited for what's to come. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. But nevertheless, that'll do it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Dreader of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Dreader of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon as Dreader of Aviation is signing off.